Hello and welcome. Now, we all know that we can easily, you know, do a search online and find live news streams such as this one from ABC. And again, I'm not, I'm not promoting any particular news site here. I'm just, I just did a Google search and I grabbed the first one. But let's say I want to stream uh, the live stream using MPV. That's my media player of choice. It will avoid ads like this. And right now I'm running it incognito mode to make sure my ad blocker is off so that you know, you don't get stumped by this if you don't have an ad blocker. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a URL that I can stream with MPV. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my developers console by hitting either F12, and this is in Chrome, uh, Control Shift I, and you should be able to do something similar in Firefox or pretty much any web browser. Once you do that, we're going to go to the network tab, click on media, and refresh this page. Refresh the page, make sure we get all the links. Now, media will probably not work in the case of a live stream, but it's a good place to start because lots of times if you're playing a video on a website, you can get the URL for the video by clicking on the media here and then finding it there because media will limit the output here to things that are just audio and video. But since we're not getting anything, we're going to click all here. And again, we'll refresh the page just to make sure, well, I guess it needs a refresh page, but just to be safe, we'll refresh the page. And here we're getting a list of all stuff. What we want to do is we want to narrow it down. Most of the time, you're going to have an M3U8 file. So just type in M3U and that will give you a list of files here that are playlists. But right now the video hasn't started yet. That was just an ad. So all those M3Us were actually for this ad here. We're gonna wait and once the video starts playing, we'll go ahead and -click, click this record button so that we uh, stop this from scrolling. We're gonna find the first one. These pings are just to, to ping the server. So I'm gonna to go to the first one after the video loaded that isn't a ping, which would be this one. And if the one that you click first doesn't work, try another one, but I'm gonna say right click and say copy. Copy link is address. I'm gonna to go to my shell, type in MP view and uh, MPV and then inside quotation marks paste that URL and hopefully that is the right playlist it will start playing the video start streaming the video using uh, MPV with no ads give it a second there we go it worked uh, so that's great let's try it on another website and then I'll talk a little bit more about that uh, we're gonna go back here and we'll go to the next website in the list which is uh, CBS News We'll click on this and we'll make sure we click record down here in our developers tab. Let's go ahead and click that. And here it's going to start loading up stuff. Again, we're still filtering. I still have M3U filter in here. And again, it's loading little previews here. Let's go ahead and clear that out by clicking this here and then click watch. And then we're gonna wait and you can see it started loading up this. So now we got the video here. I'm gonna choose the first one here. So this first one probably loaded up these other ones and these are probably possibly different quality copies. So uh, it's going to try to find the best quality copy for you. I'm going to say copy this first one and I'm going to say MPV and paste it in here. And now it starts playing and I'm streaming it using MPV. I'm going to hit Q to get it. And also you'll know you can see it's streaming because you can see the little timer here counting up oh, and then it just jumped up when it's buffered more of the video. We'll hit Q to get out of that. But in both of these cases, you can see that this has a unique little random string here, and especially this big long one here has a lot of different information in there. So lots of times when you load up in a web browser, it's going to generate a link for you, specifically for you, um, that may be linked to your IP address. So even if I send this to someone right away, it may not work for them if they're coming from a different IP address. It may also, um, in many cases, have a timeout. So if you try it 10 minutes later, or an hour later, or a day later, depending on when it expires, this link will not work anymore. So I can't just save this as a command or as an alias and play it and you know, type in ABC News and have it stream it in this particular way. What we have to do is we have to scrape the page. So let's go back to here. So cbsnews.com, we'll grab that URL. And what I'll do is I'll do wget and I'll give it that URL. And I'm gonna say dash Q for quiet so it doesn't give us like the download percentage and whatnot. Then I'm gonna do dash capital O and a dash. That means pipe the standard output. We're gonna do that and we get the HTML from the page. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grep for M3U and that will give us, good, we got some M3U files there. Real quick, there's different ways you can, you know, parse through this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say uh, TR, which uh, will change characters from one thing to another. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change all quotation marks to new line characters. Boom, that puts everything, every quotation mark, it starts a new line. And then at this point, instead of grepping M3U here, I'm just gonna move that here so I don't end up grepping it twice because that would just be counterproductive. 
So I'm going to grip for all eyes. I have M3U now, and we have four of them. So what I'm going to do right now, just to test them out, because I don't know if all of these work or if one of them works or if some of them work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say copy link address, and I'm going to say MPV. I'm going to paste in that uh, the first one I just copied and play it. And you can see that's a very standard uh, URL. There were no, there's no um, special information in there. And there you go, you can see that we're streaming. They're away right now, you know, playing commercials on the live TV, and I guess this is what they do on their live stream, so they'll be right back. But it is streaming. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit out of that. And so you could very easily, in this particular case, we are able to do a wget. I'm gonna tell you it's not always gonna be that easy, because lots of times this stuff loads with multiple different JavaScript files, blah, 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 and you're gonna to wanna to use something like PhantomJS is what I would normally use for something like that. But in this particular case of CBS News, uh, I was able to wget it, and again, I could take that and um, this wget command, and I can put it in like this, and I can say mpv, which is now gonna to go to that website grab the mp3 or oh i want to add in so let me back up a second so this gives us four different urls i can say head dash n1 which would just give us the first then i can take that put it inside uh dollar sign um, parentheses and quotations and then i can say mpv and it will play that file and i should be able to save that as a command and then whenever i want that i can run that and it will should grab that M3U and play that file. I'm hoping that this is the, the proper one and this isn't just like a little thing to distract you. Uh, it says we'll be right back. I'm assuming in a couple minutes it will start being the live news again. Um, so we can actually come back to check that in a couple minutes uh, if I don't forget. So yeah, so I showed you how to do it in the web browser, but if you want to automate it, in some cases it's that simple. Other cases it's not, but you should always be able to find something in most cases in the web browser just by filtering here for M3U and then grabbing again this first one here probably gives information for all these other ones so this, this is master 6, master 1, master 2 and I'm betting that these are different quality copies so if I was to right click this I can say copy copy link and if I say MPV I can paste this in here and it's doing it but it's doing it at a lower quality where the first one gave us the best quality for that particular one. So and it looks like they're getting back. So we'll come back to CBS in a minute to make sure that that wget command actually worked like I think it did. Let's go ahead and look at one other website real quick though. We'll come here and we will go down. So we did ABC News, CBS News, um, and let's do this uh, MB2, NBC-2, that's my local NBC News. We'll click on that. And here it's loading up. And oh, why are all these videos disgusting looking things on people's skin? Okay, let's close that ad. So we're not seeing any MP3s here, or M3Us here. Let's go ahead and clear out that filter so we're seeing everything. And we can see some that are video playback, but I want to point out that it's very simple. If you look here, you can see that this is a YouTube video. So of course, you can just click on this. It brings up the YouTube URL. And then if you have YouTube uh, dash DL installed, MPV will use that. Uh, and I can just give it, oh, that's not the right MPV. Let's copy this. So I can give MPV a YouTube URL as long as I have YouTube-DL installed and it will automatically start streaming it. So there we go. Now we're streaming. And that was super simple. And that URL should always work because that's their YouTube live stream unless their live stream URL changes. But you should easily be able to grab that from the website. So if a website, if a local news channel especially is using YouTube, it makes it super duper simple to grab stuff like that just by using MPV as long as you have YouTube DL installed. So there's that. Now, real quick, let's go back to this command here and see if we start streaming the news properly here. There, okay. So just double checking that command works. So things to think about. It's very easy to get uh, a stream file. Again, most of the time they are M3U files. So if you go to a website that streams, make sure you could play. Again, this is gonna play a commercial because there's no ad block in place. It seems like it plays the same commercial every time. It's for their app. Um, 
But once the video starts going, you just have to find the right M3U file. And it's probably going to be one of the first one that loads up when the video starts. Anyone after that is actually going to be one that the first one loads. So again, I will stop that recording. And right after these pings here, I'm going to grab this first one. I'm going to say copy, copy link address. Now, not every media player can play playlist files like that, but MPV is very good about that. So again, I can just paste that in there, and it should. Once it takes buffering, which this channel seems like it takes a little bit of buffering. But again, that URL will probably change regularly. You can tell if it's a big, complicated URL like that, it probably has, was generated specifically for you on your machine at this time. So if you're doing it at a different time, on a different um, network, from a different IP address, it may not work. So that's why you need to scrape it and get the, M, the M3U file uh, by scraping the site, which we'll, we'll go more into scraping in future videos, um, or you can watch some of my videos I've already done on it. Uh, Phantom JS would probably be a good one. Sometimes it's very easy to use WGET, as we did with the CBS channel. But then, again, if they're using YouTube, uh, there's already tools out there, the YouTube DL and MPV works with that to stream. So there are three different examples of different ways to stream live videos. Um, from I use news as an example, but I'm sure there's other channels that might stream um, live sport, sporting events and stuff like that. Just usually that stuff's behind a paywall, which gets a little more complicated. Uh, and I didn't want to, you know, we're not getting into logging into websites to stream stuff. We're just using, and then there's also DRM sometimes on sites. But here are some examples of common uh, news channels that we were very easily able to stream from. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it useful. And as always, I hope you visit my website, which is filmsbychris.com. There you can search through all my videos. And uh, you can also support me. Go to the support section or check out the description of this video. You can support me right here with PayPal or you can go to my Patreon and become a Patreon supporter. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.